as I told you, I'll be telling you how can we make flashcards for match the following. So I type wordwall.net, wordwall.net, and this is where I read. Now, if you're already, uh, you made some uh, certain things for your students, then you can start here. So what I do is, as I told you, um, I'll be making, helping you do the match the following flashcards. Before that, I'll show you the flashcards that I've already made. So I go on to my own account, log in with Gipika Datta, and I'll show you this. Match the following polynomials. Now see how beautifully it runs. I start this. I maximize it. And now it is so simple. Trinomial. So this is the trinomial I can take. Uh, binomial. This is the binomial that I have. Uh, degree of a zero polynomial, how much is that? It is not defined, so it goes here. Uh, representation of a quadratic polynomial. I can take it to be a parabola. Then degree of a constant polynomial, that is zero. Representation of a linear polynomial, that is how much it is zero polynomial. It's a linear polynomial. It is a straight line. Sum of the zeros, it is minus sign the coefficient of x upon the coefficient of x square. So I'll get five upon two. A monomial, this is the one. Degree of a cubic polynomial, it is three. And lastly, left is product of the zeros. It comes here. So once I've done this, I submit my answers. It's going to check it itself. I don't have to do anything. It is done and my puzzle is done. So now once it is done, I can go onto the leaderboard and I can type my name, Anya. Okay, so I enter this and it's going to place myself here. Anya comes at the top. So if I give this to my students, my students can, 10 are showing, I can go back and make it even more for the leaderboard. See, I'll tell you how does it show. Options, leaderboard, options, top 40. So once I do that, all 40 students can see their scores, right? So this is the wonderful thing about it. Students can, I can just share the link. How do I do that? I have it here. I can share it with my students. I get the link, copy, and it is done. So once I get it, I can share it with my students. Uh, once I, this is an already, um, already a made one, so I did not need to publish it. Otherwise, they will ask you for the permission to publish it, and only then will they give you the link to be copied and sent to the students. So this is so easily done. Um, again, there are so many options for it. I can make it in a different way. Take the theme I can change. I take it to be as this one and it changes it. The design changes. So I can give different designs to different students. See, it has changed now. Again, the same thing can be done up. A uh, little difference it has made. I'll show you the different other different designs I can make. I can take the, I can take it to be as this one. So you can see the changes that occur. A new design. So with one small thing, I can make a variety. So again, these can be shifted. So, so many options are there for you to explore. Again, I'm making another one. See how nicely it goes. Match the following ones. Binomial, I put it here. Monomial, I can put it here. Representation of a linear polynomial, I can write it straight line. Product of zeros, I can take it to be as minus 5.2. Degree of a zero polynomial, it is not defined. But this is how once it is done, I can submit my answers and it can be shown. So various options are here to use. How do I make it? How do I create it? I'll show you now how do I create it. The tool is free to make five activities. Every time once my five activities are finished, I'll have to log in again with a different Gmail account. But yes, with a group of four to five teachers in a school, and uh, I don't think so more than 20, 25 activities will be needed. So you can all collaborate or use different 
your own gmail ids and make as many uh, free of um, free such puzzles for yourself for your students okay so again uh, find the match also i could have done so it's a different little different like it starts there so i start beginning zero zero is what it is degree of a constant polynomial right it's correct next it goes ahead and i have a straight line straight line is what the representation of a linear polynomial so this goes you need to be a little uh, thorough with your work in this whether it's not for beginners uh, if the questions are too many not defined the degree of a zero polynomial so this way it continues you can do it up and let me tell you how can we create it so to create it what you do is i'll just log out from here and i'll log in with with my other account log in because my five activities are already done so sign in with google and i take up my other gmail id now create your first activity i wanted to create up these uh, match up i wanted to create so i start writing let's say i write um, I'm speaking simple three plus three and I write here six correct answers I'll be writing uh, add an item um, four plus five I write here nine another item I add uh, six minus two I get here four um, another item I can add zero plus five four I can write here again zero plus I write here five so that i get a different answer five i'll have to be a little careful here and the last one i'm writing uh, 10 plus 10 10 plus 10 is 20. okay now i write done and i can start it so i just go on here zero plus five is five six minus two is four four plus five is nine ten plus ten is twenty and three plus three is six i can submit my answers my students can get it checked it's all correct so i can write my name on the leaderboard leaderboard and i write my name and it is done so i'm first on the leaderboard as and when my students will do it up they will get the correct all right so i hope this will be a useful thing again there is more to it you can make it as find the match you can make it as in the form of a quiz different ways you can do for the quiz you'll see the options are going to come like this six which is the correct answer so whatever i had done it automatically changes into a quiz and i can get it give it to my students so once again if i want to share it i get the link here copy and i can send it to my students so that simple is it so i hope it's going to be a useful video for you thank you so much